Hello, this is Kyle. Let's write some code. Today let's talk about Browserify. Uh, this is a getting started with Browserify. Um, so if you, it's really geared towards somebody who's brand new and never really used Browserify before, but you might learn something if you have used Browserify if you're just interested. So typically when working with JavaScript, uh, let's create an indexed HTML file. Uh, you know, if you're going to start adding files to uh, your page, generally you add uh, script tags. Um, and, you know, maybe you want jQuery, so okay, we're going to go to jQuery.com um, and we're going to say, okay, download jQuery, and then we're going to put it into our folder, and then we're going to make sure we include it here. Um, or maybe we're going to use a CDN URL, um, and then, you know, we're going to create our uh, file here, um, call it app. And this is all of our app code. And then so we got to make sure we add this script tag here, um, app.js. And, you know, oh, and be careful to not do this because, I mean, if you're going to use jQuery here, you know, before um, uh, there, you, you know, you have to organize your script tags. So this gets really cumbersome as soon as you start to add a lot of files and a lot of scripts and, uh, you know, there's better ways to do this, and this is exactly what uh, Browserify aims to solve. So first, uh, make sure you have IOJS uh, installed or Node.js installed, because uh, Browserify runs on um, these. I have an earlier video I'll put in the description on getting a, uh, a flow set up to uh, install IOJS or Node.js. So once you have um, IOJS installed, um, we can go into our folder uh, in the terminal and we're going to say npm init, and this will create a package.json file for us. And then from here, we can say npm install browserify, and we're going to save it to our dev dependencies. So the next time we type npm install, uh, we'll get browserify back again. So now browserify is in our node modules, and it creates a binary called browserify here. So within our package.json, um, we can create a, um, an entry in our scripts object here um, and we'll say build, we'll call it build. Um, and so you can just reference that Browserify binary directly here and NPM knows to search into this bin Browserify folder. So we could just say Browserify here, we don't have to put the full path. And then we want to uh, say the file that we want to be our entry point. It's, it's basically the, the root of all of our other modules. And so for here, we'll, we'll use app. Um, so we'll say browserify app.js. And then we want to specify which file we're going to write out to uh, as soon as everything is bundled and concatenated into a single file. And so we'll just name this bundle.js. So now, since we have this build script here, we can run npm uh, run build. And it will call that command and build our bundle. JS. And this is the file that we are going to include in our index.html file. And so instead of all these separate script tags for everything, we just need to include our single bundle JS script. And then now we can bundle here, run npm build, and then open our index file and take a look, make sure everything's working. Yep, there we go, JavaScript high. So what Browserify is doing is it's going through and it's analyzing uh, your files and then it's determining um, which order to load everything in um, and it can do many other ways to, to load it but basically it'll, it'll figure out all the ordering of everything for you uh, and, and do all of that um, mundane stuff for you and just give you one file that you can include on your page um, that does everything. So now maybe you're saying okay well now, how do I get jQuery in here? Um, well, what's great is Browserify works really well with NPM, and uh, jQuery is on NPM. So you don't need to go here and download the script or worry about the CDN URL or, or figuring those kinds of things out. You could just simply say NPM install, or you can just do I, um, either work. NPM install jQuery, and then we're going to save that to our dependencies. So the next time we type NPM I, uh, we'll get jQuery back. And so now, you'll see we have Browserify in our dev dependencies and jQuery in our dependencies. So within our app, 
we can now say uh, we can create a variable dollar sign is a typical jQuery thing and say require jQuery. And so what this is going to do is going to go look here into this fault this folder here and require the appropriate uh, jQuery. Um, and so from here we can um, you know let's let's create a button um, and say click me and on that click we'll say alert hi and then we will add this to our body and uh, make sure we run and bundle our um, we're going to run npm run build and bundle with browserify again and once that's ready we can refresh and we get a button that says click me and hi you're now probably saying, well, I don't want to run npm run build every single time I make a change. So there's a library that works just like Browserify, but it is geared towards uh, watching your files and running Browserify every time you save them. And it's called Watchify. And so we're going to npm install Watchify and save that to our dev dependencies. And then in our package JSON here, we're going to go in and we're going to add another script. So instead of just building here, we are going to create another one called Watch. And you just basically replace the binary Browserify with Watchify. And it does the same thing, except now it will, when we do npm run watch, now as we make changes to our app, um, we will get those compiled automatically. And so now when we refresh the page, it will change to test from high. So Browserify does a lot more than just bundle uh, modules installed from NPM. You can also use it to uh, better organize your own files. Um, so you know, if we're going to create a bunch of buttons here, um, what we can do is we can create a folder and we can name this buttons. And in here we can move our code to this button. So we can just say button.js. We're going to move that code there. And then from here, we're going to use module exports to say we want to export this button. We want to do, we want to, when, when you require it, this is what we want to uh, give. Uh, we want to give the button here. And so we're going to save this file. And so now from here, what we can do is we can now say fair button equals, we're going to do require. And to require a local file, we're going to Preprint uh, dot slash, and so that's this is going to look for our local fire file here, and so we have it in the buttons button dot js. So we're going to say buttons button dot js. So now when we require this file, it's going to go here and it's going to look up. Okay, what are we exporting? We're exporting the button here. So from this, we can get the same functionality, and just to make sure. It works, we can say it worked. It worked. So I hope this has helped you get started with uh, Browserify. Um, if you want to learn more, there's a lot of great resources on Browserify's website, and that's browserify.org. And from here, we have uh, documentation and help and articles, uh, demos, and kinds of things. Uh, Substack's Browserify handbook is really great. Um, but there's a bunch of resources on getting. Um, more in depth with Browserify. So if uh, you liked the video or if you found it useful, please share it. Um, and uh, if you want to see more, uh, please subscribe. And thanks again for watching.